We'd like to give a quick shout out to Bobby from Sailing Doodles. Welcome to the light side, Bobby. Congratulations on your new Hatteras motor yacht. Good choice. But you know, owning a Hatteras motor yacht is not all fun and games. When your martini glass is filled to the rim in five foot seas, you might have to turn those stabilizers on. I broke a nail last time. A Hatteras captain's balls are so big it is nearly impossible to keep them clean. The stove, it sits here motionless. How boring. Hatteras first mates always seem to be vanishing when you need them. Fortunately, I know where mine hides. But the hardest part of captaining a Hatteras are those darn sailboats that are always getting in your way. Be sure to give them a slow pass. They still exist on the dark side. Seriously though, congratulations Bobby. I'm sure you're going to love your Hatteras as much as we love ours. We'll see you out there. Cheers. Cheers. My name is Ed. I'm an ex-musician, turned politician, turned accountant, who now imagines himself a sea captain. This is Lynn. She's an ex-model, retired photographer, and the love of my life. Three years ago, we bought a boat. No experience and completely clueless. Since then, we have traveled over 10,000 miles along the Atlantic coast and the Bahamas. Join us as we continue the adventure, exploring exciting places, meeting new people, and having the time of our lives while trying not to sink. Now, I've decided that I'm going to do the work from underneath. Uh, I know it's a lot easier above deck to do core replacement, but in this case, it seems that almost all the damage, if not all the damage, is underneath the pulpit. So for me to repair it from above, I'd have to remove the pulpit. And uh, it's winter here in Philadelphia, and I just think that would be much more of a hassle than it will be for me to replace this small area of coring from underneath. Uh, we'll see how this pans out. What I've done is I've taken a little red marker there, and I've outlined the area where I believe all the bad core is. I'm not 100% sure. I tried sounding it with a hammer, but I'm not very good at hearing that. I drilled some test holes to see where I can find dry wood. Anyway, this is where I think it is. If I'm wrong, I'll just, you know, continue outwards. Well, I'm not really sure how messy of a job this is. I'll find out in a minute. But just in case, I got these little cheap overalls from Lowe's and uh, got my Multimax Dremel here and a uh, respirator. Looks. <laughs> I need a, uh, a wrench to try to take this plate off. What's that plate? Holds the pulpit on. Oh no, dude. You're going to take that off? Yeah, I'm going to leave the other one on. So I don't, don't oh. stand on that pulpit anytime soon. Holy crud. Oh, scary. Ah! Okay. Oh. I knew that. That's why I got this one. <laughs> Got it off. Yep. Well, that's like a metal. Not wood. Oh, that don't look so good. Okay, there is sections of good wood around. It looks like a couple of spots I could have went a little further, like maybe here, but it's not much further. I can feel it's hard there. I might be able to just scrape out what I need and put wood in. I don't know once I start pulling this stuff out, but it, it did seem to be localized to this hole. This is, wasn't bad, this is good wood take it out but it's, it's kind of like water must have got in here and ran this but this thing here was the problem this old hole that they didn't seal correctly because that, that everything around that got got eaten up 
and apparently some water got in this way and went like that. That's what it looks like anyway. Okay, well you can see where the where the good wood, the good core was by the fact that uh, none of it stuck to, to the fiberglass here. I pretty much nailed it along this edge as far as being in deep enough. Right here in the corner, there's a little bit of mush which I'm going to scrape out. I mean, it's not even mush, it's just you can see that it's a little bit moist. Pretty much nailed it along this edge too. And this is the outer edge. This would be the bow, the very pulpit bow here, the very whatever point. That's all being replaced anyway. And this is where I was concerned that I pretty much got it. Uh, there was a little bit in this, I probably should have came out like another half inch, but I think what I'm gonna do is scrape in there and um, just make sure I'm to good solid wood. Anything I don't get, if I find an area, if we have any other uh, problems, I can always do it from the top. This is what's underneath the, the pulpit. Uh, I don't think there's anything, I don't, there's no delamination, there's nothing that feels bad outside that pulpit. So I'm pretty sure all the damage was limited to here. Uh, but I'll know once I get in there, scrape a little bit more, dry it out some, and you know. Here you go. Here's some gloves if you want. Here's another 60. 